Joining us this morning, Cindy McNair from the Rocky Mountain Feline Rescue. Also, Dr. Sarah Lipkin from Evans East Animal Hospital. We'll talk to you in just a bit, Dr. Lipkin, about winter weather tips for our pets. But we first got to talk about Tig. Yeah. Very pretty cat. Oh, isn't she pretty? Mm -hmm. She's uh, about a year old spayed female. She's been at the shelter for about a month. She's real soft and squishy. Yeah, she is. <laughs> and she loves to, to cuddle and gives hugs and she gets along well with other cats. And um, she would be a great companion for, for anybody. She looks pretty comfortable. In yeah, she's, she's, she's very sweet. Yeah. Very sweet. Love that color. Mm -hmm. She's got these beautiful mint green eyes. Uh, she's, oh, yeah. She's oh, sweet. look at her snuggle. Yeah. <laughs> So uh, let's talk cold weather tips for cats and dogs, really. Yeah, yeah, especially with all the snow out right now. Uh, one of the things we're seeing is salt on the sidewalks. Mm -hmm. um, for our dogs, or if you're one of these people that like to walk their cats outside to you, <laughs> it, uh, it'll burn their paw pads, right. um, especially if it's the salt right on top of the snow. Uh, so just watch out for that. Try to avoid it. Okay. Um, and then also, if we have some of our older pets or pets that have a an orthopedic injury, like they tore their ACL, mm -hmm. um, they're going to be unstable on ice. So just make sure that you give them their time to go slowly as they're taking their walks. And then lastly, just let them in if it's cold yes, out. Yes, don't, yeah. don't keep them outside. <laughs> if it's too cold for us, yeah, it's, it's too yes. cold for them, yeah. for sure. For the pets. Yeah. Hey, Tig needs a new home, so uh, <laughs> hey, call them. Give them a call. <laughs>